Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning to you all. And a happy Sunday to all my fans out there, my viewers and subscribers. Those who love what I'm doing and those who enjoy listening to my news. And I'm your one and only Okute Deli Toko from my own corner bringing to you this uh, early Sunday morning broadcast to um, in case you never know or uh, you never subscribe. <laughs> my dear brothers, my dear sister, I don't know what you're waiting for. You're waiting for me to begin to carry again and knock on your ear before you know that you're supposed to subscribe to the channel you are watching the good news that is coming from uh, that channel on a uh, on daily basis anyway share my dear brothers my dear sister it is a choice uh, it's either you make the choice of subscribing or not subscribing it all depends on you and um, that's your media man with a difference and that your broadcaster will get better swag i don't carry ubonga news to come this morning you know, and this one we are going to do it the way you used to do it get the headlines then we illustrate and expand shirt and also do what and also read the news to my fans out there good morning once again anyway way there i don't get to always salute you my name never change and i'm still that one you know okay well, make on i hear this better headline where i carry come for now this uh, sunday morning sit at home any good state you and their traditional rulers all of them they don't get out they they, they 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 do what the what we 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 call in our local dialect that is a uh, you know in other words they have supported uh, peter mba on ending the the sit at home and also the they have already assured him of uh, cooperation into community policing in other words they are going to erect what they call um vigilantes in uh, any good state so that they can tackle the means of sit at home this one is coming from the traditional rulers this one is no more the enugu state uh, governor this one is the traditional rulers all of them they don't gather go government house or i know how this thing take, take work now nah. <laughs> and i uh, because uh, uh nobody uh, 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 how do they used to tell itself uh that the one you baby be baraka they don't share them gala must go so now they can voice out anything they like anytime any day see as long as that money keep coming that is why all these uh, small small boys wear full government government house they don't get single respect again for traditional land simply because they don't buy all of them or they have bought all of them with uh, taxpayers money in other words the traditional lands keep singing their praises so that is exactly what i'm seeing here but whichever way it is because all these international lads, all these old, haggard the international lads we have in a different communities, they will not tell us they don't know that Master Nam the Kano have been in detention. And that is the call for his release. That, is, uh, that was why uh, everybody is going on sit at home. Despite the fact that uh, I support sit at home, but I don't support enforcing sit at home. That is my own. I don't support killing the people you are fighting for. I don't support uh, 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 using it by force. It has to be what? From your heart of heart that i must sit at home to get this uh, leader of over 70 to 75 million people released uh, that is how it is so another one we have here um uh, uh, this one <laughs> in fact i don't even know what to say this one is coming from the so-called uh, labaja the new chief of staff he said that i quote he said we will no longer uh, condone sit at home i mean once i pop and i ask how what are you going to do so if people decide to sit at home now, you will go about now. Either you begin to burn their shops or you begin to go to their different homes and shoot them. You people are the one that say, "Oh, nobody, nobody, nobody have to go back to their normal businesses." But there's no any adequate security provi provided for them. You want them to sit at home? No, you want them to co continue going to to the market. You want them to do, to to restore back to their normal businesses. But you have not uh, do the needful, tackle the menace do the need for you people knows exactly why the insecurity in the southeast and why they sit at home you, know, you, you keep on living a happy kenya general bishop the mental proof to where they cost it at home is the holding of mass and the if you people uh, uh cannot release him then tell me how the insecurity will stop or how the sit at home will stop since people say most of some people they are doing it on their own individually that we must be sitting at home every mondays or either one week or two weeks or thereabout so let us be guided please that is my my watchword 
Let us do what? Let us be guided. And another one we have here. IPOP have come out to, to reveal solutions on the sit at home and the southeast insecurity. What to do and how it is going to be ended, according to IPOP. I don't know whether this were uh, this IPOP now the faction of uh, autopilot or the faction of uh, Ima Powerful. But anyway, sure, we are going to read the news to know exactly what it contains. Well, my wonderful people, in fact, we are about to take off now. Do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and also comment. We are not going to be shouting because, uh, as you can see, I'm trying to manage my voice. Because today, I have a lot of goodies for all my fans, for my for the Biafra lovers, and the lovers of Biafra Freedom. I have a lot of goodies for each and every one of us. As we are about to take off now, please, start in your seatbelt. Because we are about to go, <laughs> we are going to church. <laughs> and I saw it in Take B. Traditional rulers across Enugu State have commended Governor Peter Mba over his laudable security measures since assumption of office, assuring his administration of their un un unwavering uh, cooperation in strengthening community policing in their pers uh, respective uh, communities. <laughs> the royal fathers who conveyed on, on uh, what do they call it, on Friday, at the house, at the house of a chief chamber, Enugu State House of Assembly complex, further urged the governor to be more ruthless in flushing out kidnappers and enforcers of sit at home order, stressing that uh, such aberrations were not known to the Igbo people or to the Igbo land. At the interaction season, at the interactive season with the governor, the traditional rulers, uh, traditional institution charged Mba to deploy joint security operatives across different communities in the state in order to reinforce the confidence of their subjects so that they could go about their normal businesses. They lamented that the illegal Monday sit at home order being enforced by some criminals or some miscreants elements in, uh, 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 to intimidate innocent residents did not represent the true identity of what the Igbo people are or what the Igbo people, Igbo people were. Then I asked, where are all these traditional rulers? Is it because Mazen Nam the Kano is not from uh, Enugu State that all their statements, that no, they have not mentioned anything about Mazen Nam the Kano, tribalism, even in the Southeast, racist, even within the midst of the, the, the same black race, explaining to the governor that they have resolved to support a possible uh, stringent measures that his government deemed proper to secure the state and make it the choice destination for investment and hope of industrialization in the southeast uh, zone. Uh, the traditional rulers are assured of their readiness to take charge of their communities as chief security officers. Some of the traditional rulers who spoke on behalf of their senatorial districts included Igwe Simon OCC Itodo, Igwe RSN Eze, Igwe Lawrence Agubeze, uh, Agubuzo, Igwe Godwin included um, uh, Mado, Igwe Mado, Igwe Julius Naji, Igwe Grig Ugu, among others. They noted that kidnapping incidents and other security breaches in the state, particularly along the Nike Ngo Nsoka Road, had been flushed out as a result of the timely security response by the governor in joining him to keep up the word, the pace. Enugu State and all the traditional rulers in the state are behind any decision you are taking to secure the state against enforcers of illegal sit at home order and other hoodlums. We are glad you are walking the, the talk and, and the security in the state has significantly improved. At Ungo Nike, we now feel safe with your security measures, unlike what we used to have in the past. Your security architecture is clearing all the hurdles. We want you to do what to reinforce community policing like the neighborhood watch. We are equally appealing to the governor to ensure that there is presence of security personnel in every street and community, especially on their purported sit at home days. This will build the confidence of our people to come out and go about their normal transactions. The royal fathers said. They also called on Governor Mba to sanction airing public servants and other businesses owners who refuse to go to work or open their businesses for transactions. Let there be consequences 
for those who refuse to work on Mondays and other days. You should also consider making us the chief security officers of our various communities and see us act. Hold us responsible for security breaches in our domains, they added, and you people must be held responsible. Speaking earlier, Governor Ba informed the royal fathers that the meeting was convened to appreciate them for their support during the election and to also brief them on the security measures taken so far to rid the state of criminal elements and attract the promised investment to the state. The governor, who stressed that the only way to make the state the premier destination for investment, eradicate poverty, build them parks, attract over 3 million tourists every year, provide employment for the youth, and move the state's gross domestic domestic product from its current 4.4 to 30 billion dollars was by ending insecurity posed by the hoodlums hiding under the guise of the sit at home to hunt the economy and inflict pain on the citizens of Enugu state. He said the war against the criminals could only be won with the support of the traditional rulers by talking to their subjects to avoid being used by criminals from other states who operate from somewhere in Finland and other com countries and by taking charge of the security of their communities, according to the traditional rulers. Noting that sustainable development, peace and security are maturely reinforcing, the governor expressed readiness to partner with the traditional rulers to combat insecurity through the strengthening community policing deployment of technology and intelligence gathering and sharing. He said the only way private investors would be interested in the state was by making sure that the state is safe for investment, according to them, saying it is time to eradicate any impression or perception of insecurity in the state through adequate collaborations. We cannot concede to those we didn't give our mandate to direct our affairs. If you have not given Anyone you are mandated to lead you, they should not direct you. We must tell them they have no right to direct all our fears in the state. You know our plan to make Enugu the premier destination for investment. We cannot, we cannot do it alone. It begins with forging a common front to address the big elephant in the room. It, that is, sit at home. Escort it out of Enugu and tell it there is no room for it in Enugu state. You should talk to your children and subject to also go about their routine businesses. We must challenge the temerity of anyone telling us to sit at home even when their own state is not observing sit at home. As you know, we are in a hurry to fulfill our promises to develop Enugu and drive it uh, to take back its pride of place in the community of states. We promise to provide water in 180 days and we know it is remaining about 134 days. Some uh, places have already started having water in their homes. We will extend our water secure to all the parts of the state through boreholes, solar-powered water secure, among other technologies the governor added. He urged the people to ignore the false impression being created on social media by few hoodlums and their accomplices saying their weapon was to create panic and instill fear through fake news. Governor Peter Mbali treated that the government had already intensified or identified the hoodlums going after them in all fronts and is defeating them through its modern security architecture. Then I asked, what is happening at Eha Amufu in the days or the years back? Presuming that the Uguani signed a contract with the Fulanese by killing his own people. I don't understand. Anyway, whichever way you see it is, let us proceed with the news we have here to, to all my people. Simon Epa, we will no longer condone sit at home. This one, an army general warns IPOB. The chief of army staff, Major General Taurit Labaja, has issued a stern warning to the general people of Biafra IPOB over the sit at home order in the southeast. Labaja warned that the Nigerian army should no longer condone IPOB sit at home in the southeast. You are not going to do anything, my dear. Just get out. To this end, Labaja orders soldiers to patrol, to patrol all flashpoints and ensure 
that residents of the southeast go about their businesses without disturbance. Labadia's directive was contained uh, in a statement signed by the Army spokesperson, Brigadier General Onyema Mwachuku. He condemned the sit at home order issued by IPOP fashional leader Simon Epa. The statement reads partly they renewed the threat by IPOP to compel the people in the southern eastern part of the Nigeria to sit at home is not only appalling but a violation of the fundamental rights of southeastern Nigerians and therefore unlawful. This will never be condoned, according to the Army Chief. The Chief of Army Staff has handed down clear directives to the H2 Division of Enugu Nigerian Army operating in Sanaji with other security agencies to ensure robust patrols to dominate all flashpoints and then in place measures to ensure citizens are free to go about their legitimate businesses. And I hope the order you are giving, you are not giving it to the full and full soldiers. So that they will end up killing innocent people, tagging them, I pop for this status because that's exactly what the Nigerian military have been doing all these years. And no government will do their own, finish, go. Nobody will cut them, nobody will raid them, nobody will even kill them simply because they are working in hand in hand with the security operatives. Fulani full soldiers, all in the name of uh, Fulani Hesmen, we block our express, kill, man, kidnap, collect ransoms. The security operatives will not see them. All we, they will do is right, as if all those people that are being kidnapped are being killed, they are not being born by a mother. But when you send them out for anything that got to do with IPOB, you will find out that they will go out there and start to kill innocent people that have not done them anything. That is very, very bad. Let us continue. Oh, this one is a high public reveal solution to sit at home in the southeast uh, and uh, uh, southeast insecurity. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, has all the Bola Tunumbu led federal government to release Mazenam Nekano if it is serious about ending the insecurity in the southeast. In a statement on Friday by each person in my powerful, IPOB knocked the Nigerian army for linking it to the incident sit at home orders and enforcement in the region. The Pro Biafra group associated itself, no, disassociated itself from the violent enforcement of sit at home exercise across the southeastern region. It warned the chief army against unleashing terror on the southeast people in the guise of going after sit at home enforcement. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. They advised the Bola Metrumba administration not to tell the same line in the past of in the past government. IPOP said the army chief Taure Labaja will not claim ignorance of all the previous press uh, release written by IPOP led by Mazen Nam Dekano disassociating ourselves from Simon Ekpa and his criminal sit at home enforcers. For the avoidance of doubt, IPOP is not responsible for Mondays, nor failed seven days and purported two weeks sit at home orders and enforcement. The reckless and abusive sit at home strategy is from the autopilot group led by Simon Epa. We have consistently made it known that Simon Epa and his autopilot group are not IPOP members and do not represent Mazenam the Kano in their violent enforcement of sit at home orders. If indeed the federal government and her security agencies are interested in the peace of the Southeast, they should release Mazen Namdekano unconditionally, as pronounced by the Appeal Court of Nigeria in Abuja, and see their sponsored criminal agents using Kano's detention to perpetrate a criminal, go into oblivion and fed away. That is the point we are trying to make here. Fuel uh, subsidy do not do what? Do not make Buhari's mistake. APC chieftains warns Buhari, warns Tunumbu. The All Poverty Congress APC chieftain in Bauchi State, Haruna Gololo, has called on President Tunumbu, uh, Ahmed Tunumbu, not to make uh, the same mistakes his predecessor, Muhammad Buhari, made. He ordered the president to create jobs for Nigerians instead of uh, distributing money to cushion the effect of the first subsidy remover. Nigerian News report that Tunumbo had asked the National Assembly to approve $800 million loan to serve as a palliative to reduce the hardship endorsed by the removal of uh, subsidy on petrol. The President disclosed 
that 12 million, million households will receive amount of 8,000 Naira monthly from the loan that is being sourced from the World Bank. Then how this money is going to be distributed, nobody have cared to ask or care to listen. Also, another 500 billion Naira has been appropriated by the National Assembly in the amendment of the 2022 supplementary uh, budget to mitigate hardship as a result of the subsidy cuts. Reacting in a, in a statement to journalists on Friday, the APC chieftain warned the president against carrying out a secure familiar to the COVID-19 palliatives, stating that Nigerians are, all, are still questioning how COVID-19 relief packages were disbursed to citizens. They never disbursed anyone. All was hiding in their private uh, warehouses. He advised that the money should be used to create jobs through the refurbishing of the Nigerian refineries or put up or put up uh, other industries to help employ the youths and school levels. According to him, the funds could also be invested in infrastructure like transportation that will ease the burden of trans transportation on Nigerians. He said, yes, palliative is a good thing and I welcome it. At least it will cushion the effects of first subsidy removal. But Tunumbu should be aware of the banana peel that is about to consume one of Buhari's ministers, the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs. Many Nigerians still call for her head over the diverted coronavirus palliative funds. Many are still calling for the head of former Vice President, Emil Subanjo, over the 5,000 Naira promise to be given to the aged men and women. See, today, we have not received anything. All this money was approved, but it goes into private accounts. What about the school feeding program and so on? That the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs told us that they spent how many billions of Naira uh, feeding school children during the COVID-19, whereby COVID-19, the school was locked down for over three months. Then we, we asked, who are they feeding with billions of Naira? Is it the ghost or the ghost students in the class? <laughs> anyway, share my wonderful people, let us proceed. You will be doomed for life if you oppose Tunumbu, SPDP chair, once Southwest region. A former chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in Lagos State, Mushud Adeboke or Adegoke Salvador, has won the southwestern region of the country against opposing President Bola Tunumbu. He opined that uh, the region was uh, okay, would be doomed for life if they failed to give the president their maximum support. Salvador, who was a member of the 2014 National Conference, made his known or made his known in Lagos during an interaction season we had uh, with a group of media professionals known as the League of Yoruba Media Practitioners in Lagos State. He urged all stakeholders in the region to set aside their political party affiliation and support to Numbu for progress of the region and Nigeria. The former politician said he was currently quite uh, partisan politics. Okay, he have uh, currently quit partisan politics, and all he cares for now is the progress of Southwest and Nigeria. The former politician said the emergence of Tunumbu as president from the Southwest region could not be compared with how ex-president Olusegun Obasanjo emerged during his reign. He said Obasanjo was a product of the military imposed on Nigeria and the Southwest by the power brokers and northerners. According to him, this is the best opportunity the Southwest has had so far in the Nigerian project since independence. So the Yorubas should really or rally around their own to give him the needed support. Their own. Even if he fell, it's their own. I am not interested in any party. Whether you are APC, PDP or Labour, that is just a vehicle. But the important thing now is that the Yoruba man is there. He will do what uh, we have been agitating for over the years. And he has the capacity to do it, according to him. He said, on Ayaram, our own, our own, our own. Even if he's not qualified to be there, he's our own. Let us support him. Lawyers accused DSS of framing suspended CBN governor. She be on a day here, DSS. So now when I don't say DSS, hey, 
the French people up, right? That is how they did in the case of Mazin Nam Dekano. None of you ever said anything. But now, you don't reach on a door mod. You're not going to do what? Because you just want to step down. Legal practitioners from the group lawyers in defense of democracy have claimed that the state security service, SSS, framed the suspended governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefele. During an appearance on a Rise TV on Friday, Kingdom Okere, the convener of lawyers in defense of democracy, criticized the arrest as a breach of a standing order from the Federal Capital Territory High Court. He, not, he noted the SSS had attempted to arrest MFL in December of the previous year, but only managed to do so in June of 2023. Okere expressed concern that despite this six month uh, interval, the security agency continued to detain MFL, suggesting they should have gathered their evidence during this period. He said, We just heard from the statement by the DSS that they have charged him to court. Charging him to court is different from arraigning him in court. We have not seen a copy of the charge. Of course, the accused has been in illegal detention in the DSS and his lawyers should be privy to whatever charges that may have been preferred against him. The point is that lawyers in the defense of democracy have been on this issue since the 7th December of 2022 when the DSS sought to obtain a black market ex parte application from the Federal High Court, it is a black market because the Honorable Judge of the Federal High Court said DSS could not use the Honorable Court to commence an irregular proceeding against MFLA. Therefore, on the 29th December 2022, Justice M.A. Hassan of the Federal High Court made an order of perpetual injunction restraining the DSS from preferring any trump up charge of terrorism for nothing against the suspended CBN governor Godwin Emefele and DSS participated in that proceeding and they have not appealed that decision. And if they purported or they purport to have done that, there's no proper record of appeal at the appeal court to, to that effect, according to Okere. The rule of law does not empower the DSS to dis to disregard an order of the court of competent jurisdiction. The only thing they do uh, within their constitutional right is to go to the higher court to set it aside. Insofar as that order remains, whatever they are purporting to do to file any charges against MFLA remains illegal ab initio. Oh, oh, Between 7 December 2022, when they first went to court, and 8 June of 2023, when they eventually arrested him they didn't have any evidence against him what they have done is to prove us right that they had plans to frame him up it has now taken them more than one month and just towards this court order that directed them to either release him or charge him to court or to go to now go and file whatever charge they purport, they purport to have filed against the, the embattled uh, CBN governor, MFLA. Bandits, what bandits told me about Nigerian government military, Sheikh Gumi speaks. We are looking for bandits. We are looking for their hide hideouts. We are even uh, uh, putting money on top of their head. But look at somebody knows where they are. Look at somebody uh, will come out and tell us, look at what bandits said about uh, Nigerian government and the military. And nobody got him arrested. Nobody question him. How do you know these hideouts of all these bandits? Why do people cannot get this man arrested? If this man happens to be an Igbo man now, he could have been languishing in jail for knowing where the bandits are located. Nigeria can never work. Nigeria is a, is a banana republic. The worst and the most stupid, stupid country I ever witnessed in this my lifetime is Nigeria. According to what I'm saying, Nigeria still remain the worst stupid and banana republic country that I have ever witnessed in this my lifetime. That somebody has turned himself to be a bandit negotiator. Yet, the government is not doing anything about it. But when Jagu made a simple comment in Lagos, now they have been, he has been charged for terrorism. And you people keep on telling me that this country is one Nigeria. Which What is one about this Nigeria? Nigeria can never be one. I have said it before and I still repeat myself. 
a prominent Islamic scholar based in Kaduna State, Sheikh Ahmed Gumi, had revealed what the bandits told him their grievances are during his previous encounter with them. Nigerians report that Sheikh Gumi has in recent years become actively engaged in meeting with bandits and kidnappers and cattle rustlers terrorizing the northern part of the Nigeria, a development that some citizens have condemned, of course, very, very condemnable. Uh, condemnable. Speaking, however, during a recent interview, Shegumi, who insisted that having a roundtable talk is the way forward with the bandits, said the criminals have told them, told him that uh, their grievances and that the government displaced them from their ancestral homes. Government displaced them. Hmm. Okay. He said any further lament. He said any further lamented that. Uh, they were being killed and bombarded by airstrikes, adding that when they surrendered, security operatives came back and picked them up and killed them in an extrajudicial manner. They also said the amnesty program failed after the negotiation. Luckily for us, they are not challenging government authority. That is on the positive side. But the danger is that we have uh, terrorists that are trying to infiltrate them. So, we either bring them to our own side or we allow the terrorists to hijack them. And certainly, that will be another story, Sheikh Gumi told Vanguard. He added, the, the, the Boko Haram recently ambushed army and killed uh, many of them. Guerrilla war, uh, warfare does not end like that. We don't want this issue of banditry to be prolonged. We want a quick solution. They have not joined the religious terrorists. When, they, when you look at their grievances, which according to them are no school, no social amenities, no roads, uh, they feel they should have their share of the national Yeah, according to Sheikh Gumi, he said they should have the share of their own national cake. And according to him, he had money that clerics, emirs, military officers, academics, politicians, and traditional institutions can form part of this negotiation team, according to uh, Mazi Sheikh Gumi, the bandit uh, commander and the instructor. So, my wonderful people, those who love what I'm doing, and those who see me as their own uh, 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 media man, I beg you, make on use this one to stop down because today is uh, Sunday. And make on try to make sure, say, on a go church, go worship on a babago day because not all, not so we take a uh, uh, siamo. So, anywhere where we take be, my dear brothers, my dear sisters, make on do what? Make on a dejulificate because without. Uh, uh, having a, a knowledge of what is happening in the society, you will keep on following novice to all these uh, things. So make it keep on the subscribe, like, share, comment, and make sure that you do what you share this message more or the very, very important. Most importantly, let this message let it go viral to each and every one of uh, uh, your friends, neighbors, any group where you belong. Make sure you share this message because this case of Martin Namdekano is totally gradually turning to into something else. Anyway, my wonderful people now here I go take leave on now. Make on enjoy on a day. Bye for now.